What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We are going to do a different stipulation today. And we... Let's find out what we're going to do. We're going to do... We're going to do this Amped Fill stipulation that says, Thick Boy Draft. Draft the thickest thick boys. Goddamn, that's a thick boy. That's what we're doing. It's a little less... A little less... Uh, specific okay well we're only missing one art here that's a thick ass boy Dragonlord Silmgar is a pretty thick-ass boy. So is Sun Titan. Okay, well, it seems like we've lost more art since this pack opened. Am I crazy? Get out of my dreams and into my draft. I'm trying to like pop these dudes. Sort by rarity, right? After this emotional not getting trophy, have you had heard the acoustic version of the song? We're not going to take. No, but I've heard the regular version. I want to take. S I think Sun Titan's thicker than Slumgar, but I my concern is that this does not lend us to take future thick boys. I also really wish that we had friggin' card art. This is so unbelievable. I mean, Corsair of Crufix is pretty thick, and green, green white, should give us some pretty thick boys. Oh, Woodfall Primus is as thick as they come. Do you guys know? I, f I feel like Gabby posted had like a trick to make the friggin' things pop to make the art come back. Sky Sovereign console flagship is pretty thick. I might just take a land, though. I think I'd rather have the fixing land here. Make sure we can cast our thick boys. You go to display. Okay. Then you check the hawks. Okay. Okay. Box is checked. I want to take this Ulmog, because that's the thickest, thickest of boys. Now it's doing it. Alright, so that's weird. Aleshnorn is thick AF. Alright, we're taking this Aleshnorn. Where's the Mirari's Wake? This is a Mirari's Wake thick if I ever saw it. Alright, so no thick boys. I'm just going to take Cultivate here, which is great. I think we probably want Night of Autumn here. We got a bunch of thick boys already. But the versatility of Night of Autumn, as long as the, the combination of getting it back with Sun Titan is pretty, pretty juicy. Fertile ground. That'll do in lieu of a thick boy. Hornet Queen and Alesh is pretty thick. Those are some fat ass wasps. Look at them fat bees. Yeah, I'll take Anna Fenza. She can make thicker boys. It's fine, I guess.
Student can get pretty thick. I don't know if we're going to play it, though. This is a solid nine card so far. Damn, look at all those thick boys. <laughs> so thick, dude. Uh, Revelark's not terrible here. It's relatively thick. If it, if it can eat more tacos than Mucho, it's thick enough for this step was my impression. That's pretty good. Oh, Condemn is actually pretty decent. Come on, don't start with this bullshit again. See, sometimes it doesn't do it, though. I do, I do want this Savannah, though. There's no real thick boys in here that... You guys like sneak attack? Or Savannah? I bet the I bet the Savannah comes back. I'm gonna take the sneak attack and hope the Savannah comes back. Can I get some goddamn thick boys here? There are no thick boys in this pack. This is a thick boy free zone. I'm gonna take this noble hierarch though, because it's two of our colors. God, I really see Kurt, this is what I mean. Try choosing card view and display. But card view, it's it's the only view, it's we're technically on card view, because if you look down here, like you can also go pile view, card view, which is what this is. Or you can go list view, which is absolutely good lord, whoever wants to view that. I just want to be able to cast our spells, guys. I want to make sure we can cast our spells, and that seems important. Garrick's a thick boy, but he ain't in our colors. I want to take Primal Command. We can get creatures. We have Sneak Attack. I'm really hoping for a Mirari's Wake here. Oh, Elspeth is a thick girl. Oh, thick girl! I'm taking this Elspeth for sure. She's super thick. Cast out? I mean, this guy, these guys ain't thick at all. I'm gonna take this cast out. Boop. We're still hoping that Savannah comes back. Whisperwood Elemental is pretty thick. Dragonlord Tark is real thick. Goes well with our sneak attack too. That's the, that's a thick dude. Who's the thickest of them all? Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who the thickest of them all? Ben, where are you at? Okay, so... Alright, it's close. It's coming. It's on its way. I'll probably just get Court of Calling. I don't know. Oh, we did it, Ben. We did it. We did it. Yeah, that's nice. All right, that's helpful. <laughs> that's that was a that was a team effort. 
That's what I like to. That's what I like to think of it as. Atarka is a lady. She's a thick lady. So is so is Elspeth. Uh, I guess we could just take Kiki Jiki. I don't know if that's great. He ain't thick, but he's cl he's clever. Could just be Amiria. It's not super exciting, but I don't, I don't like approach either. Oh, Outlaw's Merriment might be okay if we're splashing red, maybe. I don't know. Bloodbrain Elf again? Okay. Forsake is nice. Oh, sideboard this Amiria. Sideboard Anafenza. Good lord, this is a sneak attack deck if I ever saw one. Where's a Marari's Wake for crying out loud? I'm just grateful when all the art is here. I think it's Windswept Heath. Nothing is too thick in here. Shut up and take my money. Because mine are OCD. Josh, I appreciate your OCD. I, I think Badger would as well if he were here. If Badger were still with it. Terracidon's actually pretty thick. But I just want the fixing over. Like, we, we have so many thick... Look how thick we are right now. This might be the thickest deck I've ever drafted. Plus, Windswept Heath goes really, really well with uh, Sun Titan. And honestly, I bet you the Terrasta... Oh, that's what we wanted! That's what we're looking for, my dudes. Do we take the Iron Mace and hope the Mirari's Weight comes back? Ooh, how greedy are we? I don't even think it's greedy. I don't, how strategic are we willing to be? Hmm. Iron Mesa seems real good, especially with the Sun Titan. Lane the main, thanks so much for the host, man. Really appreciate it. It's just Wake. You guys think it's just Wake? I think Wake will wheel, but I don't want to risk it. So, so I ain't going to. Iona's pretty thick. This seems like a really good Windbrisk Heights deck, but I don't know how we're attacking with three things. Meanwhile, Emrakul number two is pretty thick. <laughs> oh, good lord. How, how much do we have to Genesis Wave for it to be good? Like, s a thousand? I kind of like Windbrisk Heights here. I mean, if we get it to work, it's real strong, right? Because your odds of putting something cool underneath it are pretty high. I want to take this Nissa. This is nice. Gets us a land. Make sure we can hit our fourth land. Alright, this is our 23 as of now. Actually, Vermilar's not great. Lotus Cobra's nice. That helps us that helps us cast all our thick boys. Yeah, let's take Lotus Cobra. We're a little light on fixing and ramp and things, so. Sylvan Library? Oh shit, that's nice. I mean, honestly, we're going to cut one of these, I'm sure. I don't know which one, though. They're all pretty good. Uh, figure of Destiny, if you copy a Figure of Destiny, will always be a 1-1. One, one. Banishing Light's nice. Let's take a Banishing Light. Probably better than Cast Out. I'm not sure we care about Primal Command. I'm not sure if we need eight cards that cost six to seven mana, though, either, so.
Gristlebrand came back? I mean, I'm just taking Gristlebrand for the, for the memes. Vivian Reed is sweet. I'll take a Vivian Reed. Probably better than Primal Command. Sarah seems fine. We're not playing Sarah. Genesis Wave seems super cool. Mana Tithe is nice. Alright, our sideboard is legit too. And Phil, I really hope that this deck is thick enough. I tried to make it playable as well. Mother of Runes. We have a lot of white cards in our sideboard as well. One cut, huh? We didn't get any red fixing, which is really disappointing. Man, I really wish I took that Arid Mesa. But Mirari's Wake, I think, was too good to risk. We also have Fertile Ground, Lotus Cobra, Cultivate. And if we play one one mountain, we're probably gonna play more than one, but that's at least four sources right there. Is Windburst Kites good enough? I feel like we can, we gotta cut one of these fat boys. I think it's probably Iona. Ben, no worries at all, man. No worries. I don't think we saw much either. I <laughs> put together a little Boros deck. <laughs> It's a real cutie. If you do have to scroll to see that you're like, hold on. Hold on, I gotta scroll all the way over here. There's three cards past the Woodfall Primus that we can't see. I think Iona is the worst. Alright. I guess we'll play this, maybe? Like, attacking with three creatures seems really ambitious. This is four, five, six, seven, six, seven, eight, nine, four. I like that. Because we only need one red. Alright, let's see if this does anything. Let's see if we can bust up some dudes. I will keep. This is it turn three outlaws merriment? Seems good. Noble Hark. Dang it. Like a counter my fertile ground? Sure. You have no soul. Geist of Saint Trath. Two, three, four. Tempted to block. They'll probably just kill it. Yep. To the surprise of no one. What's it like when you never don't have it? We can also just play Marari's Wake here. 
But we're also going to be just playing Sun Titan next turn, so that's fine. I think we're okay with drawing Elspeth here. What is this? Take my money. Because minor OCD. Josh, I appreciate your OCD. I, I think Badger would as well if he were here. Thick in here. I appreciate his OCD. I don't understand. I don't, I don't get it. <sighs> so we go to eight here, and then they attack for six in the air next turn. Cool. Literally losing to one Geist of St. Traft. Seems good. Even though we ain't got one, two, three, four, five. So we can even play Marari's Wake, but then we have to, we don't get the life from this guy. <laughs> Emrakul on top. In the morning when I rise. One, two, three, four, five, and then we'll have four. Now we gotta go Sun Titan here. Hmm. Do I wanna keep this Vivian Reed? Maybe. See if we're just dead. No, we're just going to combat. Oh, we didn't have a blocker for the ground guy. Sure. <sighs> well, that's annoying. I'm going to bring in this instead. Thank you. Tireless Tractor, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back.
All right, let's try this again. Let's try this turn to fertile ground. Into Bloodbraid, into Amiria plus land. That would be ideal. Alright. We're doing it. We're living the dream. We're going to hit a Cultivate off this Bloodbraid Elf. It's going to be perfect. Condemn. <laughs> oh, it never gets easier. Condemn. Condemn. Solid magic gathering. Solid. Let me guess, remand it? <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> sure. That was a interesting choice. Man, a bird doesn't even have a an art. Sure. Snapcaster Mage, Flame Slash, Cast Flame Slash, Cast Electrolyze, draw a card. Hmm, it's better, I guess. For us. Having Knight of Autumn and Sneak Attack is pretty good if they want to do Splinter Twin, because then we can just go sneak in Knight of Autumn, kill their enchantment. Oh, six mana. No idea what this is. Probably something terrible. Armageddon.
This is why your streamer I streamed for four days once. I sent the videos in for feedback. I was told that I need to do the following. Actually win a match. Stop mumbling. Provide some creative content. Get better looking. Wow. Good lord. Who did you send those? You, you sent the videos in for feedback. Who did you send those videos into feedback for? Because that sounds brutal, my dude. Oh, look at all these lands they have. God, they're so good at this game. Do you know how Tithe Taker works? What's happening right now? Okay, that was interesting. This is fucking so stupid. Armageddon is like the most least fun card in the cube. You know what? Cool. Oh, God. Just kill me. Just absolutely kill me. Uh, we could have snuck in night, but then it dies at the end of their turn, so it doesn't do anything. Thank you! Indominus, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Nine months. Hold on one second, guys. Where's fucking where's arena? I sent the videos to my wife. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, good. They just... Force of negation. My Sylvan library.
Thank you. Suraj, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Well, this is going well. Hmm. I guess it's Nissa, actually. One, two, three. I guess we actually should have Vivian read it first. That would have been good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Woodfall Primus. That could be good. Shut up and take my money. What's going on? Thanks for the Q content. I'm truly sorry for the round one lots. Me too, buddy. Me too. McTavish, thank you so much for the donation. Really appreciate it, buddy. Unfortunately, sometimes you get Armageddon after they counter all your things and uh, attack you with Geist of St. Traff like 12 times. Armageddon. Sphinx's revelation during my ba oh no, change my mind. Okay. So what Hour of Devastation? Actually seems pretty good. Counter this? You're gonna counter my my courser of crew fix? Hold on one second. Oh, they're going to come at Nyssa, and then we're going to be, like... Oh, this is where we want to be. This is it. If this is it, please condemn it. I'm going to condemn this dude and give me some life. 
Thank you. Are they going to remand and we don't have another white up? Mana leak. What? M. Schmidt, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Days. Sure. You know what? That's a two for one. I'll take it. Vivian Reed dies. We have Woodfall Primus to kill this Celestial Colonnade. And now they don't have days, so. That's cool. Get him. I'm trying to get into this Twitch Rivals event, guys. Yeah, apparently Woodfall Promise is a hell of a magic card. So, I kind of want Mana Tithe. I don't know if it's good. I made it home safe. I know you were. I do. I appreciate you letting me know. Glad to hear it, Haji. Glad to hear it. All right. We're doing it. I'm just going to play Tithe Taker, actually. I don't, I'm not too concerned with getting their their one scry if they want to use that dude. Don't have electrolyze. Braid. How do we know you're the real Hodge Galashi and not a murderer that stole a phone? Valid questions. All right, so now we need lots of lands. Cultivate would be a great draw because that just puts us right into Marari's Wake territory and then we're probably good to go from, from there. Eh, Fertile Ground's not the worst. Unless they counter it. They didn't. <coughs> How do you know the odds you've known all along wasn't the fake one? Good lord, this is getting real deep. Oh good, my favorite. Get rid of my tithe taker? That's interesting. Alright, land. Land. Well, that sucks, because now we're going to draw that. And I hope there's a land underneath that, because otherwise there's a tithe taker. It's going to go this, something else, tithe taker. a lot of things that are happening here. I 
I feel like we're way behind right now. That's, yep, that's actually okay. Is it two down? Third from the top? So what did we draw? We drew this guy, then this guy. Yeah, all right, that makes sense then. Well, can't cast anything. Might as well hit a, hit a Teferi. Yeah, get the loot on. Oh, we just get the E Young Pyromancer here? That's pretty cool. Boy, I sure hope there's a land underneath this Tithe Taker, my dudes. Why is Bonfire still in this cube? Oh my god, a land. What are the odds it resolves, guys? Actual zero. And once they do this, we're just going to the next game. Yep, here we go. Cryptic command. Yep, they're picking their modes. That's all I need to know. Yep. Don't care. Cast out seems fine here. I kind of want mana tithe just to get them. Take a Lesh Norn out. And we'll just play 41. I'm okay with 41. You know what? I'll keep it. Negative 5% chance sounds. I'll counter this with my counter spell. I don't know what they could add there. I 
All right, well, now they could probably remand a thing. One, two, one, two, three. Yeah, let's just play Outlaws of Merriment. Oh, wow, it resolved? Oh, geez, that could be really good. Hmm. Huh. Well. Yeah, of course, it's going to be the one. <laughs> the one, two. Um, yeah, I'm just going to play the mountain here and then uh, play Vivian Reed. Well, <clears throat> Corsair, Atarka, or Tithe Taker? Corsair. Well, that was a game. All right, so we're one one with the fat with the fat boys. Do they have days or uh they have days, but they also only had Spire Bluff Canal, so they couldn't actually bounce a mm, island. So that's that's pretty cool. Oh, I don't think this hand is terrible. I don't think it's great. We have not been able to play that many thick lads. You're correct. Thank you. Primaris Powerhouse, thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Ten months. Really appreciate it, my dude. I'll keep it. They went to six. They're basically dead. Yeah, Vivian and a uh, Outlaw's Merriment. I mean, Outlaw's Merriment definitely adds up. That was a good draw. Man, now we can just blood braid elf here, or we can actually courser and try to hit a land off the top. I guess we can see what they're gonna do. This land is mm, island. Wow. Oh, Jace. Yeah, we're just we're just slamming Jace, slamming Jace in his stupid Jace face. Don't be a condemn again. I've hit condemn fucking twice. Two blood braid elves, two condemns. Are you absolutely kidding me? Come on, dude. Come on. I don't even want to attack into this gentleman, this old, this older gentleman, this elderly sir. Oh, snap. This deck is pretty sweet. It just, we've been, like, I feel like I've had Sneak Attack. Oh, Reclamation Sage. That's pretty spicy. All right, that's not a combo piece, which is really all I'm concerned with. Just don't combo me out, bro. Oh, no. What do you copy here? Your own Courser? Because then I'll just go Knight. Oh, oh. Oh, that's interesting. This is all very fascinating. Uh, 
and Sower of Temptation. Well, we're drawing a forest. And Ulamog, I actually don't want an Ulamog, comically enough. Ugh. One, two, three, four. Let's see if we can find a land on top. Oh! Oh, butter my biscuits. Oh, boy. Sure. Sure, 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 sure. That dog will hunt. Is that a saying? Is that like some southern saying? So Rex Sage will kill something. Courser, okay. Oh, what up, Luke? All right. Well, yeah. Give me a kiss to build a dream on. And my Emrakula nations. Well, that's cool. <clears throat> Hooray! See, the thing is, they already had the Pestermite in their hand, so that's why... That's why they weren't really getting it with the Imperial Recruiter. So that makes. And now they go Splinter Twin. We don't have a third red source to Knight of Autumn at instant speed. And then we get to lose in the most I ironic fashion ever. Okay, that's fine. I mean, we have a ton of cards we can draw. Aleshnorn is pretty sweet. Dragonlord of Tarka is pretty sweet. Aleshnorn's even better now. 
Oh boy, this Garrick ultimating next turn is pretty rough, though. This is an interesting attack. Now it's less worse? <laughs> huh. Come on. Marari's awake. One, two, three, four, five. I don't have any talent there, so we can one, two. Two, three, four, five. Marari's wake. I mean, we're not attacking with Nissa because I'm not going to trade a Nissa for. Was this 4, 8, 12, 16, 17, 18? Yeah, that's fine. To activate this, it's rough. Yeah, we'll just flip Nissa here. See what we hit. Having no red, though, is pretty rough here. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, that's actually pretty good. Three. Cultivate. Blah. <clears throat> Kill this dude. All right. Not terrible. They have three cards still, though. We have nothing. Like, they can actually ultimate attack Nyssa. I don't think that's great, but... Oh look, they got Kiki Jiki. How nice. Well, this is just fine. I mean, we get one, we get two looks, right? We get to cultivate, see what's on top. <clears throat> so we get to draw cultivate. Lotus Cobra is not going to do it. So we cultivate, find something else. Mountain, plane. And then there's a plains on top. We get to play a land for the turn. Another land on top. Cool. Let's see what the next card is. Vivian Reed? That actually would have been great. We could kill this. Cool. Instead we die. That's fun. Cast out seems relevant. It's probably the only thing I care about here. Ugh, God. 
Why can't we win? Why are we drawing like no thick boys in our thick boy deck? I'll keep it. It's f super slow, but like, we can cast most things we draw. Funny thing, we're gonna draw Merriment's Outlaw. We only have Outlaw Outlaw's Merriment, and we only have one, one white source. So, okay. I wish Nissa could get a uh, non forest. You know, like a second white source, for example. Nothing? Interesting. Emrakul. Fantastic. Fantastic. Is this where they go end of turn? Pestermite. Untap. Kill us. Let's see. No. Just an into the royal. Fascinating. Wow. Man, Alesh Norn, Alesh Norn looking mighty good here. If we can get another... <laughs> there it is. Fashionably late to the party, guys. Yeah, this is just actually terrible. I mean, if we can draw another white source, I think it's salvageable, but... Like... They're just going to shoot this. Attack us for 70, looks like. A sneak attack would be legit, but, you know, I'm not going to cross my fingers. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Lotus Cobra. White. White, red, red. Three, four. Yep, this is all we can do. Oh, man. This has been a hard format for us to trophy with this time around. I don't know if it's the cube.
No sneak attack, no Aleshnorn, no second white source. I don't know. I'd like to think we're like we're not actually drafting terribly and that our draws have just been absolutely phenomenally bad, but Let me get a sack this goblin to kill the Nissa. Okay. Don't kill my Cobra, bro. Oh, wow, you killed my Cobra. So brutal, dude. Oh, wow, you killed my enchantment, too. It's like you had everything. Wow, that's amazing. Wow, another mountain. All right, cool. We can cast nothing in our hand. Eight mana, six mana, six mana, 15 mana. All right, well, unfortunately, I think we had a bunch of thick boys here. But unfortunately, they were all stuck in our thick, thick hand. So, that's life, you know. Um, I want to go see my deck. Yeah, I don't know. Deck seemed great. Like, if we could... If we could get Sylvan Library early. If we could have the... Like, there was Banishing Light that we could have drawn to get rid of their creatures. Like, I feel like there was a ton of stuff in this deck. Uh, rarely drew a sneak attack when it was good, but what are you gonna do? Either way, Amphil, thank you so much for the for the for the stipulation. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe button, guys. Subscribe button, subscribe buttons, and uh, I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate you guys.